Welcome back to Coach Trick, where magic meets inspiration and success. Get ready for a double dose of magic that will leave you and your audience amazed. Picture this, a card freely selected by the spectator is lost into the deck. The magician introduces one of the black aces to help us in the quest to find the card, only to see that ace transform into its counterpart. And then the plot thickens. The spectator's card is magically found by the two black aces working together. With no difficult or complicated moves, it's a breeze to perform and it's guaranteed to surprise and amaze. But the magic doesn't stop there. As ever, we'll also explore the connection between mastering magic and honing skills for success in life. So be sure to stick around for the usual inspiring message. Okay, get ready to jump into this double mystery. Grab a deck and let's go. Okay, as ever, let's kickstart by taking a look at the effect itself. In this trick, we're going to demonstrate the power of a very special card. And that's this card just here, the Ace of Spades. Now this is a very special card because this card can find any other card. Let me show you what I mean. If we take the deck, we can ask the spectator to select any card that they like. It really is a free choice. So let's say they select this card just here. Have the spectator look at and remember their card. We can see in this instance, it's the Jack of Clubs. Now ask the spectator to make sure they remember their card as it goes into the deck. And we can now take our special card, the Ace of Spades, and we can place that face up on the deck and we can cut that into the deck also. So now in the deck, we have the spectator selected card somewhere and we also have the face up Ace of Spades. However, before we can find the selected card, there's something special that first of all happens. If we take the deck and give it a twist and a click like so, and we go through the cards, we can see that somehow the Ace of Spades has magically transformed into the other black ace, the Ace of Clubs. Now this is an important first step because actually to find the selected card, it's the two black aces that need to work together. So we can place the Ace of Clubs back into the deck like so. And if we take the deck and give it another twist and another click, this is where the real magic happens. Because now if we spread the cards, we can see in the deck that face up, we now have both of the black aces, the only face up cards in the entire deck. And we can see that the black aces have actually come together to trap another card. So we can take that card and for the first time, we can ask the spectator to reveal the value of their selected card. They will reveal, of course, their card was the Jack of Clubs and you can now reveal that the two black aces have indeed magically come together to find the Jack of Clubs. This is a great little effect. It's super simple to perform. It delivers a double miracle and leads to an amazing card revelation at the end. So stay tuned because now I will show you exactly how it works. Okay, so now for the secret to this effect, this is a great trick that's made even more amazing by the fact it's so simple to perform. And here's how it works. You're going to perform a small piece of preparation to start with. You're going to take the Ace of Clubs and just place that face up on the bottom of the deck. So there's the Ace of Clubs. And you're also going to take the Ace of Spades. And with that done, you're good to go. You really do begin by asking the spectator just to choose any card. It really is a random selection. Let's say they select this card just here, the Jack of Clubs. Ask them to place that onto the table. And then you're going to take the deck and you're going to place that on top of the selected card. So obviously now at the bottom of the deck, you have the face up Ace of Clubs on top of the selected card. From this position, you can go into the next step 
of placing the ace of spades on top or you can choose to make it a bit more convincing and give the deck a false cut and that makes it look as though the selected card really is lost in the deck you can perform any false cut that you like but here's a simple example you take the deck you swing cut off the top half of the deck like so the bottom half comes over the top to the table and then the original half just goes back on top of the deck so obviously after that nothing has changed you still have the ace at the bottom on top of the selected card but a spectator will think that their card is now lost in the deck from this position you just take the ace of spades place that face up on top of the deck and cut that into the deck like so you're now in this situation where you've already sandwiched the selected card between the two black aces but the spectator doesn't yet know that we're going to go into the next step of changing the ace of spades into the ace of clubs and to do that you just give a magical gesture and you're now just going to spread through the cards until you get to the ace of clubs So just like so, there's the Ace of Clubs. You can take that card and explain how the Ace of Spades has changed into the Ace of Clubs. Now remember, the Ace of Spades is also already face up in here. So you don't want to overspread the cards and display the Ace of Spades also. You just want to make it look as though the Ace of Clubs is the only face up Ace in the deck. From this position, the Ace of Clubs just goes back into the deck and you complete the cut like so. All that's left to do now is to reveal the spectator's selected card. So with another magical gesture, you can just spread all of the cards. And of course, you know that the two black aces are going to be face up in the deck. And you know that the card sandwiched between the two black aces is of course going to be the spectator's selected card. In this instance, the jack of clubs. This is a great little trick. It's so simple and fun to perform. So take this one, practice it, go out there, perform it. And of course, above all else, have fun. As we conclude this magical journey, remember that every trick is more than an illusion. It's a step towards greater confidence and success. This double miracle isn't just a trick, it's a reminder that simplicity when wielded with confidence can lead to the most extraordinary outcomes. Embrace the everyday twists and turns. And just as we master the art of magic, so too can we master the challenges in life. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, share your magical moments in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing and inspiring tutorials. Until next time, keep moving forwards, keep the magic alive and take care.